Hi, my name is Patricia Crawford and I live here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I have brought a few things down uh, for you guys because there's a lot of things that I need to cover in a very short time. And to make sure I didn't leave anything out, I put everything down on paper. I have wrote many short stories, songs, and even recipes, never really taken it serious, just a pastime or a hobby of sorts. And so I became a true lover of Forensic Files, Criminal Minds, First 48, Snap, and CSI, practically anything that has to do with things of that nature. I had no previous interest in any type of shows of this manner until December the 8th, 2001 which is the day my sister was abducted and murdered. It was like a lifetime movie that I was starring in without my consent. I totally snapped for years, needless to say my life fell apart. I decided as a way of therapy I would write again. Well, this time, when I sat down to write, the things that ended up on my, pa on my pad was different than anything I had ever wrote before. I began writing Capture in February of 2012. I finished my manuscript on a rainy day in November 2012. Sent off for my copyrights in March of 2013 and proudly received my copyrights in July of 2013. Prior to receiving my copyrights, I watched a shocking news story of three women being freed after being captured for over a decade. This inspired me to conduct actual research on women being abducted in the United States. Once I finished just a couple of days of reading and watching news clips of several women that had been held captive, I was convinced that I no longer wanted to wait on a publisher to publish my book. I took a leap of faith and self-published. Now I'm ready for the next step with Capture. I'm going to make it into a movie. I have a crowd. I hope this crowdfunding site will assist me in making this dream a reality. <laughs> That's such a funny statement considering my fiction book is part of our reality. Reading this fundraising site, you will see that there has been many of women that have been held captured right here in the United States. I am not trying to imitate or even make a statement that no parts of this movie will be related to any of the real life victims nor their stories or anything that they went through while they were being held. I'm just merely asking that a book that I wrote that seems to be a part of our reality become a movie. A movie. I'm asking for funding uh, to help with this movie and I hope that everyone that can help will help so that I can get this movie to the big screen. Please don't stop here. Read the rest of the site and enjoy, or not enjoy, but look at the videos of the real life stories of the women that have been held, captured in the United States. Thank you.